What's going on YouTube? Hidden back making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, we'll be looking at Litecoin, Bitcoin, Ethereum, as well as Cardano to BTC. We will also be doing an exclusive current events. Uh, I guess we'll do it in the beginning of today's episode because I do think it is quite important. Binance says it was hacked yesterday with $40 million worth of Bitcoin stolen in a large scale hack. So we'll be discussing that prior to jumping into most of the crypto and charting. Otherwise, guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications, leave a giant thumbs up and let's jump on in. So guys, really quickly, we're on the current article. This is a techcrunch.com. So because of the astronomical size of this Binance hack, it made it to news stations and blogger pages that don't even normally cover cryptocurrency. But this definitely spread a lot of FUD on the market. And we saw that reflected in the prices, which we will discuss in a second, as well as, you know, where we bought and sold. But as you guys uh, know, Binance said it was hacked with more than $40 million stolen in large. So just to go into a little bit of specifics, cryptocurrency exchange Binance has confirmed a large scale data breach in which hackers stole more than $40 million in cryptocurrency. In a statement, the company said hackers stole API keys, two-factor authentication codes, and other information in the attack. Binance traced the cryptocurrency theft, uh, more than 7,000 Bitcoins at the time of writing, to a single wallet after the hackers stole the contents of the company's Bitcoin hot wallet. Binance, the world's largest crypto exchange by volume, said the theft impacted about 2% of the total Bitcoin holdings, which is crazy. 7,000 Bitcoins in the exchange is just 2% of their total funds. They said all of our other wallets are secure and unharmed, which seems like the hackers only specifically targeted one wallet with the 7,000 inside of it to make Make it, I guess, a big payout. The hackers had the patience to wait and execute well orchestrated actions through multiple seemingly independent accounts at the most opportune time. The statement said the transaction is structured in a way that passed our existing security checks. It was unfortunate that we were not able to block this withdrawal before it was executed. So basically, they were sending viruses, sending phishing emails to the person or whoever owned it. And I guess they fell for it. They got the password, they got the two factor authentication, which seems to be the way that people are are getting into accounts and taking them as important two-factor authentication is my advice to you guys and my um two cents is if you're going to be storing cryptocurrency for a long term and you're going to store it don't put it on your computer don't store it on coinbase don't store it on binance get a ledger wallet which is in the description if you don't know where to find it and store it off your computer. I've made videos, you guys can text me, email me, whatever, if you need help setting it up. It is that simple. Store it off your computer. We've done tons of reviews on these cold store wallets. It's possible and it can happen. Yeah, if you're not holding that much, you're not really a big threat, but it's definitely a possibility, especially with people advertising their crypto, putting it on the internet and making it well known people can be more prone to getting hacked. So you gotta be careful, watch your emails. If it looks fishy, it probably is. Otherwise guys, let's jump into the chartings. We do have a lot to discuss. I did buy into Cardano. I wanna show you guys that in a second. But as you guys can see, we're on the current coin market cap. Market cap 185 billion in volume. 24 hour volume is 40, sorry, market cap is 185 billion. 24 hour volume is 46.6 billion. Bitcoin dominance is up 56.5%. Uh, so we're seeing all coins drop more than Bitcoin is, but markets are coming back down. Makes sense. We'll go into that in the specifics in a second. As you can see out of the top 10 cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin testing $6,000. Very interesting. The markets are down. They are all in red. We see Litecoin number five, around $500 million off from Bitcoin Cash. So Bitcoin Cash does seem to be having a lead right now and very close neck and neck almost to EOS, which is about a hundred million off. But coins are mainly down about one to 3% at most, really nothing more than that. So markets are okay, consolidation is needed. I've been saying that we're gonna pull back down for quite some time now. Um, otherwise, let's jump into Litecoin and the rest of the charts. I do think it's quite important we discuss this. I think there's a ton of stuff to talk about so make sure you watch this till the end because you know this is current events and it is very very interesting so i just want to show you i guess we'll discuss litecoin first so as we know i bought in at 71 and i sold it a little bit sorry i bought it in around 73 sold it at around 76 made a little bit of profit but we're starting to pull back down and with good reason you know as we zoom out you guys know for all those who are new to the channel we've been tracking a massive ascending wedge that has been forming on litecoin now what's interesting to note 
is we did manage to break out of this ascending wedge, traded above it, then we broke below the ascending wedge and used it as a resistance. And it seems like that's what's happening right now. So yes, it is nice to see that we are trading around 50 on the RSI. It gives us plenty of room to move up higher. Also plenty of room to move lower, which is something we have to take into consideration. When we see even market 50 on the RSI, usually tells us we got to look elsewhere for information as to what uh, where the market could potentially lead to. So that brings us on to Bitcoin because Litecoin seems to be going in either direction. We have to take our focus elsewhere. So here's where it gets interesting. I looked at Bitcoin and what I've noticed is Bitcoin, yes, it was crazy yesterday, actually. This was wild. We actually managed to literally go right up to $6,000, touch it, and then retrace back down, ultimately pulling right back down to our uptrend. So I was talking to my um, the people that I was tutoring yesterday on cryptocurrency, and we were looking at Bitcoin. And what we saw was these ascending wedges that were forming on Bitcoin. And you'll notice we have a bottom support and a top resistance. And even though we did manage previously to break above it, we ultimately closed that candle below the uptrend. You can see right here. So resistance was here, here, resistance here, resistance, and even more resistance here. So we really have yet to close the candle. A lot of people yesterday were thinking that we were going to close this candle all the way up here. But we managed to close it below, which was surprising with this massive wick that formed and we closed the candle literally below our resistance, which makes sense. Not only did that whole Binance news come out and spread some FUD, but we also saw that we were overbought on Bitcoin. And that's my biggest worry and why I'm not fully invested into cryptocurrency right now. There's an issue that is you know, happening. There's an issue that we need to discuss. The fact that Bitcoin is overbought on its daily, the fact that it's above its uptrend, these are very bearish indicators and indicators that to me mean that we're going to pull back down. So when I see things like this, it means don't buy in at this level because there are better opportunities with less risk to buy in and make more profit. What I'm looking to see is honestly a pullback either like this or even a pullback all the way down to this purple you know uptrend right here so i'm really anticipating a pullback and as we know if we see bitcoin even pull all the way to here setting it to 5500 putting it at 50 on the rsi that would ultimately lead litecoin to pull back down and if litecoin pulls all the way down to 66 dollars retesting its high low mma that will send it into oversold so when bitcoin pulls back down to 50 on the rsi It'll send Litecoin down to below being oversold. And that means that I'll be buying into Litecoin at that price level. 66.77 seems to be the price that I'm eyeing right now, waiting to buy back in and riding that sucker right back up. But I'm staying away because Bitcoin is overbought. I'm not investing when we're overbought. I've seen us break up here before and you guys are probably wondering to yourself, well, we've been overbought before. You know, we were up over here. Why not? Why won't it happen again? Well, look, we started this run down here. Let me zoom it out for you guys. So bam, now check this out. So we started the run down here at around, and we were trading at around 50 on the RSI. So we started here at around 50, and then we shot up and entered overbought. So you can see that pattern started us here, we entered overbought. That's not gonna happen now because you can see we're already overbought and we wouldn't be able to get the momentum to drive us higher up which is why I don't think it's likely. If we were at 50 right now, then I'd say, yeah, we're most likely going to continue to break up. But the fact that we're already above and we're already oversold, I mean, overbought, it gives more reason, probably an 80, 20% chance that we're going to break downwards. That's why I'm bearish. I'm staying out and getting ready to buy in. Also, huge shout out to everybody who's supporting me on Patreon. Con like, that's awesome. We're going to be doing tons of exclusive things. Not only will we be able to get exclusive access to any and all of my crypto trading charts that you see on YouTube before all the people on YouTube get to see it. It's live updating, which means Patreon. They're the first people to see it. We're almost at my goal of 100 people on Patreon. We just broke 30 Patreons. So huge shout out to you guys. Highly recommend checking it out. It does help support the channel. And it's an awesome community that we're building on there, which really helps a lot of the beginners. I offer tutoring, a bunch of things you guys should highly, I highly recommend checking out. It's the second link in the description. Now moving on to Ethereum and then Cardano. Very interesting things to discuss all across the board. Yesterday was pretty interesting too. We did manage, I was talking about this with one of my clients. We did manage to break outside of this uptrend. 
the symmetrical triangle that formed, we broke bullish from that, but you'll notice we retraced right back down and are now using the top of this downtrend as a support. Now, keep in mind that there is an ascending uh, triangle forming. You can see the purple uptrend here has had one, two, now three confirmations, and it kind of leads us all the way up to $200. So I'm really curious as to where uh, Ethereum is gonna go. We could either break out with Bitcoin um, retracing back down, or we could do something like this. We could test up here, fall down, then head back into here, or we could head right back up. A lot of possibilities, but I think we're gonna stay inside this ascending triangle for the remainder of May. So it'll be interesting. We're gonna check that out. Now, moving on to those interested in Cardano. Cardano is definitely taking an interesting toll. Check out Cardano right now. We've been in a, an extremely bearish market right now. So as Bitcoin has been accumulating and moving higher, Cardano has been doing the exact opposite and pulling back down. If we look at the top 10 cryptocurrencies, You'll notice uh, as Bitcoin on its price graph has been heading up, Cardano, which is number 10, has been heading down. So it's an inverse pattern. Stellar and Cardano seem to be linked and they're both channeling down. While when Bitcoin, mo Bitcoin moves up, so we see Bitcoin moving up and Cardano moves down. So it's possible that when Bitcoin moves down, Cardano will move up. Another thing to point out is Bitcoin is overbought, Cardano is oversold. So very interesting to take note. Another thing to pay attention to is Cardano is testing a an extremely strong bottom support. So we've had numerous areas where we tested one, two, three, four, five confirmations, now testing the six confirmations, sending us overbought. I mean, oversold, it's an indication this is probably the bottom for Cardano, and that's why I bought in. So to prove that I bought in, check out our portfolio. You can download this wallet and trade virtually simulated cryptocurrency with zero risk. First link in the description. You can see if I go onto my watch list, or sorry, it is where I'm in the portfolio. Let me go back to the history and show you guys the market trade. So let's check on over to the portfolio and then click history. And then we're gonna filter this so you guys can see what exactly I traded. So you can see right here, or actually it's an open trade. So bam, right here, you'll notice that we have Cardano on an open trade. It's not closed yet. And we bought 147,000 units or almost 148,000 units at 0 0.06 cents. We're down only 4.2%, but with good reason. We're down about $428. But keep in mind, we bought in at a good time because I think that's going to flip very soon. We're bought right down here at the bottom of this pullback, this bearish you know, hill, right at the start where we previously broke out. We may not shoot up that high, but something like this could definitely happen, and that will be a huge profit for all of us. Make a couple thousand dollars on the virtual trading platform. You guys can mimic it in real life too. So it's going to be pretty awesome, but this is a beautiful opportunity to be buying into Cardano. So definitely check it out. Um, giveaway at 10,000 subscribers, guys. We're about to hit that. About to hit 9K actually, and then we got a thousand more to go, which will be super quick. Probably could give away on Patreon as well. Um, but otherwise, I will see you guys in tomorrow's episode. Make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications, and drop a thumbs up if you like the content. Peace.